So I call her, you know, like, Grandma, what's up? Oh, no, I figured it out. I just, I just, you know, I couldn't use my phone for a second. But there's nothing wrong. Like, she just is, like, very dramatic. Like me. Uh, anyway, so I called her the other day, and she's kind of losing her memory a bit. And so she wanted to know what I'd been up to, even though I talk to her every day, and I tell her this often. And I started to ramble on the things I was doing. So, you know, I said, Grandma, I'm getting ready for the home show. And um, I don't know if any of you have seen, but I did a, um, what are we looking at? A bird. Oh yeah, that's I hired special entertainment for you guys. I really want to see how much concentration you have. Like if I'm not like who's more interesting, the bird or me? I'm just um, so anyways, like, I told her how I'm coming here and I'm going to be doing the decor for the uh, BC Hydro booth, which is um, you guys have to go check it out. And then I told her I just started filming Grandma for Love It or List It Vancouver, which I am now hosting. I don't know if any of you guys knew that. Thank you. It'll be airing in January, and my co-host is Todd Talbot. He um, was in theater here. If anybody is big into theater, they would recognize his name, and him and I have been having so much fun. So I told Grandma about that, and um, I've been working really hard on my blog, which is JillianHarris.com, and then I just started blogging for some Patico. So I've just been, like, so busy. So when I was done telling my grandma everything I've been up to, um, she goes to me, oh, Jesus, Jillian, pardon my language, she goes, you're like horseshit. And I'm like, what you, Grandma, what do you mean? And she's like, you're everywhere. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, this would be a good way. I, I know what I just realized, I don't have the clicker. Yeah. Um, I thought that would be a really great way to sort of start out the speech because, you know, she's kind of right, I'm kind of like horseshit and I have been everywhere, but because of Love It or List It and um, I've been dating somebody new, believe it or not, because I've been perpetually single for like the last, how old am I, 32 years? Um, so it's been cool because a lot, him and the new show have sort of grounded me and I feel like for once in my life, I, you know, my life isn't going like this. Um, I have a nice little steady chug, but I thought, you know what, um, for those of you who don't know everything about me, I mean, I'm not going to tell you everything, but I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit of the story about how I got here because I think it's an interesting journey and I think it's a journey that we can all learn from that you just sometimes have to take a shot and go for things when you're a little unsure of where you're gonna go next. Sometimes it's just gonna, sounds cheesy, but take a leap of faith. 